I played the worst build in last epoch, at least according to tier lists. Flame Reef Spellblade is ranked as D tier for arena, monoliths, and as one of the worst for bossing and leveling. When I first thought of this experiment, I expected it to be as a demonstration of all the flaws a D tier build has, all the struggles that come with it, to be like a proof of why these tier lists exist. I expected a D tier build to be bad. I expected to struggle with map clear and boss fights. I expected a lot of deaths. And I expected the build playstyle to be so unenjoyable that I'd quit before the campaign finished. But what ended up happening was quite the opposite. First, let me summarize the build and kinda illustrate how it's supposed to work. Flame Reef Spellblade is a build for anyone who wants to play Diablo 4, but also doesn't. The reason I say that is because it's sort of a builder spender build that uses 3 to 4 skills to set up for the main damage Flame Reef. It's also a pretty safe build thanks to teleport and flame ward skills. Biggest pro of the build is definitely it's ease to play and the fact that you don't need some crazy build unlocking items other than sun wreath ring which is kind of build enabling. When it comes to cons I'd say the biggest one is DPS downtime because of the builder spender nature of it. With that laid out let's start with leveling which was rough in the beginning. The clear was slow, I did die a couple of times but we could attribute that to skill issue. I had mana problems, since for the most of the campaign, I relied on Glacier as main damage skill. Nothing much changed when I swapped to Flame Reeve either, which I had to use in tandem with Mana Strike. Things did start looking up by the end of the campaign, but I could not swap to Firebrand immediately because then I'd lose Mana Strike, which was my mana generator. Turns out, reading the build guide and playing the build how it's actually supposed to be played helps a lot. Mana was actually not an issue, and I learned that the build was not supposed to be Flame Reef Span, but the way it plays is repair all the damage with Firebrand buffs, group mobs, and then kill everything with Flame Reef. The build came online pretty early in the game, that is, as soon as I started running Echoes. Not sure if this is because I was lucky with a unique ring drop that transforms and makes the whole build way more enjoyable, but either way, running Echoes was never an issue. The clear speed was decent for a D tier build, and I pretty much never died after level 40-ish. The build is definitely not the smoothest or the quickest, especially when compared to S-tier meta builds. It felt a bit clunky with the skill interaction where you had to set up the damage buffs with Firebrand by casting it a couple of times to get those stacks going, and then blowing up high damage with Flame Reef. As mentioned before, it really does feel like a D4 build or spender build in some way. You don't build up your resource, but you do have to build up your damage triggers. You also have to care about your defensive skill rotation. Not having teleport and flame ward ready while you are rounding up all those monsters and preparing them for flame reeve might cost you your life a couple of times. Now, why did I even do this? Or why am I even talking about the quote unquote worst build? Or should I say worst of the best? Well, when playing a lot of these ARPGs, a lot of people look at tier lists and pretty much handicap build choices by looking at first, maybe second tier of these builds. I know I was definitely one of those people. I would look at S tier or maybe A tier builds and consider everything else unplayable. Because why would I play a build that has B tier map clear? But if you actually think about it, this is insignificant for most players who consume these build guides. Those tier differences, especially top tier, would mostly manifest in the min-max cases. And if you are at that level, you probably don't even need a build guide. The point I'm trying to make is that even a D tier build can provide an S tier experience for most players.